Okay, again, good evening for all of you. So this session will be like mainly it will focus on creating a pitch deck, but on also how to use AI while you are creating your pitch deck. So uh, if you have a question, you can unmute yourself and ask. And in the meantime, I will start the tutorial. So this is all about, as I have already said, it's using AI to create pitch decks. You can hear me and everything is fine, right? You can also see my screen. Okay. You're not seeing my screen, right? Yeah, we are, we are not seeing your screen. Okay. okay. Now coming, coming. Okay. Yeah, right. So, yes. So this is about using AI to create a pitch decks. So we will we will be seeing the introduction on what pitch deck is and also essential components that you need to include in your pitch deck and also the content is the essential components are the main components that you need to include in your pitch deck. Uh, what did you say? Okay, we have someone also. Welcome, Rahma. Uh, maybe can you unmute yourself? Okay, so uh, essential components of a pitch deck, they are the main components and also we have contents of your pitch deck, uh, com contents of a pitch deck and also what tools that you are going to use while you are designing your pitch deck and best practices that you can follow while you're creating your pitch deck and also the importance of having a pitch deck, uh, benefits of AI for pitch deck creation and key features of AI tools that you can uh, use of while creating your pitch deck and having this in consideration. So the first one is an introduction, which is uh, first we need to understand the pitch deck. So a pitch deck, it's a brief presentation. Uh, it's usually in the form of a slide. A slide. So it basically outlines the key elements of your, your business idea or startup. So it's also used to communicate the essence of your business to potential investors, partners, or customers. So pitch deck is a last phase of a project or some business idea, which is uh, sharing with clients and presenting the information externally in a structured and concise way to so that you can uh, so that you you are going to be able to communicate complex informations or your business idea with in a good way for the investors or partners or any customers that you want you want them to understand your business idea so here is an example i will just open it so over here you have a lot of different pitch deck examples for example you have earn you you have like Urban Air, pitch deck and Uber. Uh, you have also YouTube, so I guess. Okay, yeah, YouTube pitch deck, slide bean. You can you can see like there are a lot of pitch decks. Um, so while like following the session, uh, I hope you will get to understand what what pitch deck is, and we will also see uh, uh the actual example of how. Uh, what pitch deck is following the tutorial so the is coming to the essential components of a pitch deck no matter what state your project is you need to include the following components so the first one is your mission or vision so while saying your mission or vision you need to uh, clearly state your company's mission or vision so like uh, it sets that the, the tone for your pitch and help us investors understand the core value and your long-term goals that you have for your business idea. So you need to state your mission and vision. And the next one is the problem you're solving. First, while preparing your pitch deck, you need to uh, mention what problems that uh, what problems motivate you so that you can come up with the business idea that you're presenting or 
what are the clear problems? You need to state the clear pro problems so that you can also mention the solutions or like if the you so that you are going to you can be able to uh, clearly state your business idea so the problems that you are going you're solving and then the next one is the market size of the opportunity you need to provide or you need to provide estimates of the market size gross potential and target demographics uh, and also your product and what makes it unique so you need to include uh, what product you have come up with and also uh, like why would that invest that specific investor or a customer would choose your product rather than other competitors so you need to specify that also and traction and revenue so in traction and revenue it means you need uh, you need to include evidence of traction such as user growth revenue figures partnership or customer testimonials so it will validate your business model and the market fit so you need to include your financial status or financial planning all of that stuff you need to include this uh, in your pitch deck and also you need to include also evidence that your team can execute it so if it's something you need to make it clear for the investor or for the customers that you your team your team are uh, you are actually able to implement it or you need you are able to produce that product so it should be you need to convince the investor by highlighting the experience and qualification of your team members including their background or their relevant successes so you need to also include this one coming to the content your pitch deck should include this is for your specific challenge document you need to include this content it's already specified in your challenge document also you can you can have the definition of each content in your challenge document but uh, like depending on your idea it's the content the contents of the pitch deck also might fire might vary because uh, some of the content is uh, for example if you have a different pitch a different business idea you want uh, if it's for example if if you need some visualization or other uh, charts to include it in your pitch deck you need to include more content so that you you can come up with a convincing pitch deck so these are just uh, these are just some contents over here so that you can create your pitch deck with the first one is title we all know that ti uh, what title is but the title is basically it's used to create a first impre impression on your investor or customer and then we we here come up here there is a problem and solution so we know what problem is uh, it can, it might also be the motivation that you have in order to create the business idea and also the solution what you come up with so that you can solve that specific problem and product features what are your product and what it actually does so uh, you need to state its feature clearly and we have financial projections uh, what like what are your financial goals uh, within the coming uh, period you can specify it with year or months but what are your financial projects projections you need to also to state that market opportunity so what is the market opportunity you need to also state that and we have marketing material and the last one is investment task uh, these are all defined in your challenge document, so you can also refer that. But you need you need to include these contents while you're designing your specific your pitch deck. So here come up here come up the tools for designing pitch decks. So first, since we all uh, we have said that pitch decks they are more or less they are prepared in a slide format, so we need to it's like uh it's we can get that we are going to use presentation tools like canva and google slides i hope that you have seen already what canva is and mm, canva is one of like uh, we can also see some 
let me log in and show you what Canva actually is. So this is Canva. So it's a designing tool where you can create presentations, postcards, and a lot of different uh, cards or presentations. So uh, you can also use Canva in order to design your presentation. So this is just a sample template that I have used to design a pitch deck, but like it's not yet all settled, but it's a template. So you can see, uh, you can do a lot of creative um, designing. You can like, you can, you can use a lot of different features. You have elements over here. You have take this if you wanted to add, uh, there is also font and text styles. You can upload image if you want to, if you want to, you can draw and you can use like many of Canvas feature, feature and design your pitch deck. So not only Canva, you can also use Google Slides. We have, uh, it, there is a prepared template in Google Slide also. Uh, it's also one of like, uh, one of features of a, go a Google, uh, like we have a Google document, but this is uh, used to prepare a presentation or a slides. So next we have AI powered tools. So in AI powered tools, the first one would be Gamma App. So like Gamma App, it's used uh, to create contents that you wanted to use. For example, like you can create your con your content according to your when you can include introduction title or you might also uh, ignore them and use another content but it will create you uh, a presentation based on the content that you wanted to include yeah so it's generally an ai powered tool which helps you to create pitch takes quickly by generating a slight layouts and contents based on your out your inputs so we have also next specialized tools like Peach, Visme. Uh, Peach, it's uh, like in Peach you can have it's more it's more or less a collaborative platform that's designed specifically for creating pitch decks and presentations for startups. So it is free. Also, you can use it, but you can get more. Uh, you can get use of a lot of different features by subscribing. So there is Visme and also uh, for collab collaboration and visualization tools, you can use Miro. Miro, it's an online collaborative whiteboard platform which, enab which enables teams and a lot of like different staffs that are working on the same project to work together and brainstorm and visualize ideas. And there is also Flourish. It's a data vi visualization tool it allows users to create interactive charts, maps, and other visualized, visualized contents. So we can also see Miro. It's uh, basically Miro, it's used to create charts or other a lot of different diagrams. So if you wanted to include charts or diagrams in your pitch deck, you can use this tool also. And we have uh this which is google slide so it's uh it's one of the templates that i have selected so you there's a prepared template in google slide also so you can select one of them and use it for your pitch deck it's just the template only i didn't do any editing over here so and this one is a gamma in gamma like uh these are Automat for example, like I searched, I searched over here, typing pitch deck, and then it generated for me uh, basic outlines like um, problems we solve, our unique value proposition. So, like I can add card over here. For example, we can add conclusion, or I can also delete it if I wanted to. Okay, let's delete some. Let me create one and. Okay, investment task. And if I wanted also, I can delete it. So, so 
this is these are all the tools that you can use while creating the pitch deck these are some of them you can also dig deep and see a lot of different of them so here comes the best practices and design tips the first one would be you need to uh, you need to be like story you need to use storytelling techniques because in while you're presenting your pitch deck it's it's it should be more interesting for the listener or for your audience it should be more it it should create more impression so in order to create uh more impression or to have an to present an interesting things you you need to make it in a storytelling way and the next one is focused on focus on benefits and not features so you need to clearly state what uh, specific uh benefits that you provide for the specific problems that you have stated already in your pitch deck and not about your product feature because like for if you are an investor and if i come up with some business idea uh, your focus would be more on my business idea like you know, which gap does it substitute for example if i say this this these are the problems and if I come up with the solution, so you will just uh, you will more you will have the audience will have more focus on the which gap that does, does that uh, business idea get substitute substitute for. So like you need to focus on more 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 on the benefits, not on your product features. It's basically like no one would care if you come up with a new product, other if if it doesn't solve the existing problem. Uh, like it would be just uh, an invest. Uh, it it would be just another discovery, not a problem solving strategy. So you need to, since there is more focus on the benefits, you need to just focus on benefits and not on the product features. And here comes another show and don't tell. So you need to specify. Uh, you need to specify everything with action and not with talk in your pitch deck. And another thing is make your pitch deck look professional. So you need to use everything. You need to like you need to use everything that that will help you make your pitch deck look like professional. If the if that is the way you present the pitch deck, you need to use those designs so that it would be more prof professional. And if that's not the presentation and if it's the way it's styled you can also use that in order to make it professional or the way the the contents are stated over there it might also help you to make it professional you might you might also focus on that so that your pitch take will look like professional one so at last you need to practice your presentation delivery so you don't need to uh at the end of the day, like whether you have a great pitch take or not, it will be, it will be like decided based on your presentation. So you need to practice. Uh, you need to practice more so that you can have a good presentation for your audiences. So this might be a best practices. So you you need to use them so that you can have a good pitch take. So let's come into the importance of pitch take. The first one is it will help you clarify your business idea. So if you have a well-crafted or a well-designed pitch deck, it will help you to clarify the key elements on your business idea and it will make it even easier for the for the audiences to understand and evaluate. Do you have okay? Is that a question? Okay, so next, uh, pursuit stakeholders. A pitch deck it can be a powerful tool so that you can pursue you can pursue your investors, partners, customers, or other stakeholders to take a chance on a new idea or startup. And then you can it will also help to improve efficiency. So if you have a pitch deck, it will help you save your time and effort by allowing entrepreneurs, channel leaders, and other presenter, presenters to quickly and easily convey key information about your business idea. So like this is um, 
these are just some of the importances of having a pitch deck, but it have uh, a lot of different uh, important aspects also. So having a well-crafted pitch deck is an important uh, MS thing for if you have your own business or if you are a business founder or business leader. So the next one is benefits of AI for pitch deck creation. The first one is it's quite time saving. If you are using AI in order to create your pitch deck, it, it would be like you can finish it within a limited time rather than just designing it, de designing it on your own self. So AI, it helps you to automate the slide creation and layout design. It will reduce the manual effort also. And then the next one is customizable templates. AI, it offers a different of professional templates so that like you can use it uh, while you are creating your pitch deck. And the next one is content suggestions. So it can, AI, it will also help, it, it will also recommend you take this image in data visualizations based on your inputs. And the last one is data driven insights. It will analyze data so that uh, to generate insights, charts, and key points for your pitch deck. And the next one is key features of AI tools for pitch deck. The first one is content generation. So if you just give it for the AI, the what the business idea is more, uh, what the business idea is about, and then the content is that you want your pitch deck on, it will just uh, I want. For example, if you if you say it for ChatGPT or any AI tools that you wanted to use, just create me a pitch deck on this content. Uh, based on this business idea, it will just automatically create you, your pitch deck. So it will help us to create a content generation and design suggestions. So AI tools, they can suggest optimal colors, schemas, fonts, and layouts to, so that you will have a good visual appealing pitch deck. And then the last one is smart data visualization. So automatically, it will like AI tools, they will automatically generate charts and graphs from raw data with a clear insight. So it will, this is also one feature of using AI tool while you're creating your pitch deck. But like even though you're you're using AI in order to create your pitch deck, you need to consider these challenges. The first one is human touch. We can't say that when, for example, if you have noticed while using uh, AI tools before, they seem like uh, AI, most of the time, they create a content with no emotion. So you can just simply understand that uh, it's an AI created by just reading the content. So you need to pull, you need to make sure that you have an, you have a human touch on your content generation. So you need to consider this and then of a reliance on AI, you don't need to rely on AI. You just need to use an AI as as, a, as an assistant. You are the leader of the project. So you need to use an AI as, a, as an assistant. So the next one is data privacy. You need to be mindful of the sensitivity of the data that you input into the AI tools. So we have a conclusion, which is AI for pitch sticks. Uh, AI tools, it, simpli uh, it simplifies the process of creating professional presentation, which allows users to focus more on the content and delivery. So uh, even though you're using AI for your pitch deck creation, you need to make sure that every content is more or less uh, have a human touch. And also it's a good one. So you need to be, you need to verify that after uh, after you get the content that are generated from the AI. So next step, you need to start experimenting with AI tools for your next pitch and customize the results to match your unique business vision. So at the end of, uh, so like after all this uh, presentation, I, I hope that you have got under, to understand that AI, it will help you to have an efficient, a good work in efficient time. So, uh, but you need to also consider that AI is just an assistant and you don't need to over rely on AI. So like there's uh, sample examples. 
And I think we can't go over them. Yeah. It's visible, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is YouTube's pitch deck. So the first, like it's a slide, as we know that pitch deck is in a slide format. So we have the company purpose first, and then it stated the problem, uh, and also the solutions, and market size, and competition. So like, what are the competitors of this specific uh, business idea, or what are the existing competitors for this specific project? Uh, we are going to list it over here and product development sales and distribution and it also states the teams so we need to include the qualification of each team members uh, we can see over here cs graduate student at stanford university so like we need to also include the success of each individuals and yeah this is just one sample of a pitch deck at the end of the slide, you can see, like, we have over 35 pitch deck template over here. So you can use one of them also if you want. But I pre, uh, I suggest, I suggest you to use Canva so that you can have a good pitch deck design. So I think like this will be the end of this session if you have any question you can you can ask and uh, i will make sure to include also a video that will help you to go through uh, on how to use ai while you're creating your pitch deck uh, on your drive so you can check it that also later lately mm, if you have any question you can ask Rahma, Dr. Adanash, Patrick, Mugabe, have you good to understand the idea? Yeah, I know. Sorry, may I come in? Yes, yes, welcome. Uh, it's a clear presentation. Thank you so much for the detailed presentation. And I didn't know about these things, but I learned a lot from you. Thank you. Okay, I'm glad that you did. Uh, Patrick, do you want to add something? Okay, maybe Mugabe. Hello? Yes, you, we can hear you. Hello? We can hear you, Pastor. You can go on. Okay, maybe you can type also on the chat if you want. Mugabe, is there it's anything raining, that you want? Okay, you can go on. We oh, can. Thank you. Thank you for the presentation. It was very really cool. And yeah, thanks. Okay, Mugabe, uh, is there any confusion or is there anything that you want to ask? um actually it's about so the way you shared about the pitch desk present presentations i wanted to know uh, more about how how can one find an a best ai like you tell me like the three best ai stuff that can help you to create a very good winning pitch desk so here comes the challenge because uh, you can just use AI tools. For example, you can use Gemini, ChatGPT, and um, also Microsoft Copilot in order to create the co content generation part only. So like the designing part, it will be left for you. So if you can create a good design or a good styling, and if you can get a good, con if you can verify the content generation that you get from the AIs, it will be a good combination. So it it's just, it's it's all about the way you uh, integrate all those tools and the way you use it oh thank you thank you so much yeah okay 
David, do you have any question? Or is everything clear? May I come in? Maybe uh, I have a cute question. Okay, okay, sure. Just uh, not about uh, this uh, uh, pitch deck, that okay. about the Canva. Okay, okay. I know, and I used it uh, so many times just now simply for checking of it. I couldn't use uh, the free one. It asks me for 30 days trial or else to for payment. I don't know, maybe it depends on my laptop or not. But I used it, I know it. Why <clears throat> asking like that? Just oh. if is there some suggestion about? Okay, so like uh, from what I know so far, if you wanted to try the premium features and if you wanted to continue paying, it will ask you 30 day Canva Pro trial. But if it's not, and if you're using just the simple features that it provide you, I think it won't ask just uh, the 30 day pre trial because I'm also using it and it's working fine. Okay, I will look it again and again. Just uh, it's challenging for me. I don't know. I will look. Okay. It. Thank you. Okay, sure, sure. So, do we have another question? Ms. Finn, maybe do you want to add something? Okay, it seems like it's quite clear for all of you. If you have any question, uh, you can reach out also on Slack. So, I think let's wrap up this session over here. Okay, you can you can go on, Ms. Finn. Ms. Pin, if you're talking, you're on mute. Ms. Pin, do you have any question? Maybe like you raised your hand. So do you have any question or did you want to say something? Okay, so uh, maybe that's network issue or something. So uh, if you have any question, you can also reach out on Slack. But for the time being, Let's show some thumbs up and let's end the session. Okay, uh, have a good night for all of you. Yeah, goodbye. 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 Have a good have a good night. Goodbye. Goodbye.